here, but I just want to make sure that you guys know about my new profession. You know, right after divorce, you got to pick up a new profession so that everything moves on. And I'm a beach boy. Looking I am less serious or too serious for you. I can determine what you consume. But guess what? Everybody's recovery period or morning period is just according to the person. Growing up, I watched Home Alone movies only to be an adult and realize that even though that kid was famous and made Home Alone 1 and 2, his parents never paid him. You know, how sucky is that? But the whole world knows about it. And I hope that's not what, are, what my kids are going to turn for because I believe as a kid, you're entitled to be taken care of, not taken advantage of. So. Pretty much took all, well not pretty much actually, he took all the furniture from our master bedroom. So that's why, as you can see, everything's like nothing. No, no curtain. I'm actually using a mattress on the floor. Sorry about the mess on the computer. I'm just lying on the mattress and work on the computer. I'm actually really glad that he took all the furniture here from the master bedroom because this master bedroom is the place that reminds me of him the most, right? So I'm actually really, really glad that he took all the furniture from here. What about the kids? Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, you're highly welcome. I really appreciate you coming here. Please, before you click out, why don't you just click on the red sign that says subscribe for you to be part of this amazing family. And also, if you're an old subscriber, thank you for always coming back. I really appreciate you. Thank you all. Yeah, guys, as the title suggests, we know why we are sitting down here. I just want to make my own reaction, my own humble reaction concerning Lily Petters and just James divorce saga yeah it's not really like a saga but the announcement of the divorce guys I would say that uh, this is far 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 is a long time coming guys this is a long time coming I don't know how many of you have seen James's um video he did this video some months ago like seven months ago I'm gonna put it up here he did it like seven months ago announcing that it wasn't pranking people that they are getting divorced you know that they've gone their separate ways and in that video he made mention of so many things so many things that he listed which i'm just going to be reading out to you guys because i just i jotted some of them down and said i was going to read it out to you guys so that you have an idea of where this problem you know really started from so guys let's just go into reading it i will tell you guys um i'll just go in by reading you know the points that i jotted from what he said in that video seven months ago he said um according to him he said it's going through what they are going through is very very tough and he said um agreeing one of the problems is that agreeing on content to post with your partner you know, before posting that content, it's one of the major problems in their house when it comes to them posting videos. And another thing he said is um, that he cannot keep bearing or masking the hurt he feels in the marriage or for the sake of, you know, his little girls. And he said he feels the girls would be better off with, without them being together as a couple. He also said... Uh, he sees his marriage as a ticking bomb. He said everybody deserves a life of happiness to be who you are and to do what you want. He also said no two people in life can always be in sync. He said um, maybe it's due to communication, which he doesn't know, as uh, the divorce that they are getting. And he said his life is their life is being conveyed to the viewers as the best script ever you know and he said it's not being um our goal is not to be confined to what is happening at the moment but spills out at the other spills out um uh, spills out to other stuff as in if they're having is in because he explained this part very well he said um 
if they're having an argument for instance they're having an argument for now do you understand it spills out into the wife reminding him of lily reminding him of things he has done maybe he has done since 2009 he'll say okay you remember that video you know remember what you did to me before we edited before we made that video do you understand remember how you didn't look into my eyes how you didn't you know things like that she starts referring back to past videos you know that's why she said even if they had argument from now she refers back to things that are past well that's one of the points again then the another one um she said is um things are happening in their house she says struggling with the sanitation shows is a big problem with them you understand that the house is never cleaned according to what he said the house is never cleaned it's only when she has to like uh, make a video that she'll just make that particular area that she wants to make the video clean you understand that what happens to making the house always clean you know those are one of the things that he mentioned then he said they have loads of differences of opinion and anybody that has a different opinion you know regarding um, what they're talking about are being ghosted and she also wants him to ghost people that she you know she isn't um she isn't okay with which is not going to happen you understand which she thinks is it's not right you understand and then he said um there are differences in goals again <clears throat> it's one of the major problems with the kids you know especially when the kids started gymnastics you know is a very big is a very big um tunnel for him when they started gymnastics because it takes away their sleeping time you know that the kid sleeps at six hours in a day which is not normal for children they're supposed to have their normal rest which is like the complete eight hours and all that gymnastics takes a lot of their time away from them which he doesn't like because he wants his children to be kids as they are kids he wants them to live their life at kids play with bicycle play with their dolls and all that and not get involved in stuff like that that keeps them away from from home that's most times they don't even have time to have dinner together the normal you know usual dinner the family will just sit down and enjoy together and all that those are the things they said in that video you can scroll down to his channel is um that video was done seven months ago when he said that he wasn't pranking that people think he's pranking that they're getting uh, that they're separated to get divorced okay that's that about that video so what i want to say <clears throat> what i want to also talk about is um this um video that they just made few days ago he made the video for um i think four days ago and Lily made a video 11 days ago just um james is um channel is just james just james um at the beginning of that video <clears throat> like i just showed to you um he said he said um the way people were just thinking that he has relocated i don't think i for one, i don't think that he has relocated to kenya i'm sure he just went there to get healing do you understand people find healing in different different forms and different ways i'm sure he went to kenya just to get um you know maybe to get his it's healing i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say it's trying to like you know <clears throat> he went to kenya to get maybe to spend some time because of course he's from africa he's from kenya precisely so he went home and i think he's one james is one person that likes going back to his roots you understand so i'm sure he went back there to just clear his head to get his uh, mental states back not that he has finally moved to kenya that's what i feel because According to what Lily said in the video that, you know, they got the, the divorce is um, finally uh, processed, is finally done, they are, you know, they are divorced officially. But James will be living still in the same city, which is Uta. He will be living in Uta so that he will be close to his children. So how come under four or five, under, she did that video 11 days ago and James did this four days ago. How come... You know people are now thinking people are now assuming that he has moved back to kenya because they got divorced i don't think so that's why i said i don't that's where i i my you know my own thoughts came in now that i don't think he has moved to kenya he has moved back to kenya no i don't think so i think he just went there to get you know maybe to clear his head and all that and him saying um he's back home he wants to be um what did he say he wanted to be safe you know he wants to be what he said he wanted to be at the beginning of this video you guys watched it i'm just i think he's just making uh he's just being sarcastic with that statement do you understand and um people are blaming him i see a lot of um comments down at um his um, comment section people are blaming him that um he's talking too much he's behaving like a child people heal differently just like i said people heal differently i don't see i, I did not see anything that james said in that video that is <coughs> 
that is um that is bad that is so bad or that is um bringing down his <coughs> excuse me <coughs> that is trying to bring down his um run his wife down in that video for me i didn't see any such thing you know but with his words <coughs> with the words that he was speaking out in that video you could tell that uh, there's so many things that is bottled inside of that man there's a lot of things if you just go beyond um beyond the surface of what he was saying you know you're a critical um thinker you would know that he was trying to pass some deep messages you know it was just bringing them bit by bit in those things that he was saying even made um even made an instance with um the home alone guy you guys heard it when he said the home, home alone guys all the money that the guy was paid that child then was paid his parents never gave him a dime out of those money for the two movies that he made the part one of home alone and all that so i'm sure in this their divorce saga in this their divorce uh this their divorce uh so it's just my um mouse in this their divorce um that just happened i'm sure money is a is a big factor again money is one factor that would have made them you know to divorce money is money really played a part aside the social media thing you know that he was complaining about you know you guys heard that he also complained about his daughter being used his children being used you know to make money off um social media like is like an e form of um child labor do you understand and um <clears throat> if if for me i think if he doesn't like that you know i'm sure he must have been able to talk to lady for them to stop you know putting their children in front of the camera for the world to see but you know women being who they are you know the western world permits women to have the upper hand in their marriages i'm not saying that um yeah men should um, control their wives all the time what i'm trying to say is that i'm sure it's something that they must have talked about from the onset of this um from the onset when they started you know putting their children you know in front of the camera i'm sure it's something that they would have talked about that maybe he talked about um he went against and you know a woman being who she is wouldn't want to accept do you understand so for him to keep constantly talking about his children in front of the camera his children being put in front of the camera because he even talked about that that video i'm talking about the seven months ago video he talked about that so and he's still talking about it now that means it's one of the major issues you know if we could look at that video very well that he made we would see that he made some valid points but because people are so blinded with the fact that they love lily you know they just came out at him and they started criticizing every word that he said in that video but for me i don't do things like that i, I try to look deep into what people the statement that people make you know that people make i try to take you know to look down to see the kind of meaning i could grab for every from every word that someone says do you understand not just um because of the love i have for someone i would like to i would now want to like you know being biased with my opinion you know on um the other person you understand so and people were also still bashing him that he came out to say uh people uh, that he came out to, to to trash his wife you know and uh, he also came out to say that uh, what if he had taken the whole house what if he had taken the whole house okay why would why would people get angry by that statement that he made but they did not get angry when lily came out on her own video to say that yeah um it took it took every furniture in their bedroom it took that james took every furniture in their bedroom for me i don't think it's right for lily to have come out to say he took every furniture in their bedroom away are you trying to buy favor from your viewers or what by saying that because it's like you're tarnishing his own image by coming out to say he took all the furniture in uh in our master's bedroom it's not right you didn't want to come out with um the full reason why you guys got divorced right like you said like lily said you don't want to come out with the full um reason why you guys got divorced so why should you come out to say why should you even um make mention of him taking everything in the bedroom it should have been kept private just as a lot of people were attacking james in his comment section that yeah why would you say you would have taken the whole house what if you are taking the whole house it's the same way you people should go the same energy you're using on james it's the same energy i would expect you to use 
on Lily's page also, on Lily's channel also, on the comment section, to bash her or to trash her or to tell her that she shouldn't have made mention of him taking everything in the, in the, what is it called? You know women, they always find a way to get sympathy from people, even if they are doing so much, you know, behind the scene, you wouldn't know when they come out with that face of pretense. I'm not saying she's a pretender, but I'm just general. I'm just making a general statement. We would want to convince you to believe, you know, convince people to believe what we want them to believe because we are women. We have that power to do that. Do you understand? You know. So, I for one think she shouldn't have made um, mention of that fact that he took everything from the bedroom. Do you understand? And she said she he took everything from the bedroom. And it's a good thing for him to have taken everything from the bedroom because he's going to like erase the memory that you have that you had with him you know so it's a good thing because you're going to buy fresh things into the bedroom now fresh furnitures in the bedroom so it's a good thing that he took it and nobody bashed her for saying that you know that's like for me i think that's like going too far telling the public what they're not supposed to know okay she 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 made um the video she made she made it very well i was enjoying everything she was saying as in i was just assimilating every word that she was saying in that video i liked the way she went about it not talking about um, um giving so much information about the divorce um process and all that you understand she only said the divorce is final you know it's moved out and um you know he lives very close he still lives in the same city so that he could have access to the girls anytime he wants and all that how you, she doesn't want to separate the girls from their father you know all those lines she gave all those reasons she gave were okay not until she said that thing that he took all the furniture like what does that you she, she shouldn't have said that so now people are still bashing the guy for saying i should have taken the whole house if i wanted that means there's so much money if he wanted to take the whole house you know and, and just like i said i know money is a major factor it's one of the factors that make them to divorce it's one of the major factors in this that divorce you know um, um saga this is a divorce that just happened you know so i think I, again another thing i would like to say is that um um if things are not working out for couples if if you feel you know things are not you're not happy in your marriage yeah, instead of you to kill yourselves, instead of you to force it, it's better you divorce. You know, they've been together for 12 years, like they say, and they have two beautiful kids together. Do you understand? So, it's only them that knows um, the problems that they are facing in their marriage. Do you understand? Just like the guy said in this video, it's not everything that they show that they show to us. It's what they want you to see that they would give to you to see, and it's what you want to believe, and it's what, just like he said, what is in, uh, entwined in what you want to believe so it it, 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 it still leaves the fact that your own they are uh, lily's part of the story james part james is part of the story and the viewers part of the um of the story as in uh your opinion on what uh, they put out for you is what you are going to judge by do you understand so whatever works for you like he has already said whatever works for you whatever you want to think you should think according to james that's his video whatever you want to think you should think but let's just be um let's just be critical with our um uh, critical uh with our our thinking let's just be critical with our comments let's just be um critical with um let's just look behind um um beyond um the surface let's just look beyond um people's appearances and all that let's you know look deep do you understand if you don't know the whole story just leave it like that wish them well in their um in their future in their future goals if you guys know what i mean let's just wish them well instead of bashing one particular person you know social media if they say social media is causing a whole lot of you know we can see we we, we can see a lot of couples being divorced in this um youtube street a lot of couples being divorced and they're all blaming it on social media so what are you guys going to do you know if you want to keep your marriages or your family pipe um outside of social media you guys the ones that are still remaining they are still married that you know that are still married yeah couples that are still married that wants to keep their marriages you know you have to edit your life edit um some things out of your social media life do you understand so that your case will not end up like or oh, no, these other people's cases, all these marriages that are breaking up on social media. Do you understand? So it is only them that knew what happened in their marriage. It is only the guy and the 
a lady that knew what happened in their marriage, what they've been facing in their marriage, what they've been trying to cover and all that is left for them. So all we have to do is just to wish them real. Like I said, you know, in their future, um, in their future life, let's wish them well, let's wish them all the happiness that they can get moving forward, you know, with their life. You understand? Marriage is not a do or die affair. You know if um separation or divorce is the best option for both of them of course the kids are going to get hot because there's no divorce that doesn't leave the kids being hot in one way or the other do you understand nobody prays for their parents to be divorced nobody prays for their parents to you know for them not to have um, the love of uh, okay not even the love for them not to have the the presence of their father and their mother in their life you know living under one roof but if it happens that um, they're not happy together they cannot control it do you understand you know it's best they go the separate way instead of one person killing the other person. Do you understand? So, if that's the best decision they've taken, uh, as I can, uh, as, as I have seen, this thing did not just start today. You know, this is the divorce process. You know, because divorce does not take one day to get divorced. I'm sure it's something that yeah. Because when I watched that um, seven months ago video of James, I knew that it's something um, um, that has been um, going on for a very long time. Because you know, like I said, it doesn't take one day something that you know they got separated and you know the divorce process started and all that and <clears throat> to this time that <clears throat> they finally finally got the divorce officially done so yeah that's just my opinion i just wanted to come here to react to the um to um the divorce um and also to the video that james just m made so guys yeah thank you for um uh, watching this video and then um, if you think that you enjoyed watching this video why don't you just click on that red, uh sorry not on the right side i've already said that before <laughs> why don't you just you know um uh, leave your comment down your own opinion down concerning this um uh, couple leave your comment down let's um interact and yeah thank you for watching and i'll definitely come your way again next time so for now, we tell goodbye and have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Bye. Bye, everyone.